Hey guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. Today is Friday, July 24th, and we are getting ready for surgery basically already. Um, it feels like, you know, that I've been waiting forever on one hand, and then on the other hand, it feels like it's coming up super, super fast. So I wanted to share with you guys my um, essentials for traveling with chronic illness. So I'm hoping if you all need to go to a medical facility that's far away like I do, this is a three hour car trip. Um, or if you're just traveling with chronic illness and you need like some ideas of what might be helpful to make the trip a little bit easier on your body, I hope this video will inspire you and help you out a little bit. So I have a lot of different categories um, like foods and drinks, I have crafts, and then like health slash comfort stuff. So Okay, so we are going to jump right into it, and I'm going to be sharing um, several snack items with you guys. I have some of them with me, and then others I don't, but you guys will know what they are, so I don't need to actually show you. It's not like anything um, earth-shattering or like a major breakthrough or anything, you know. They're just generic snacks. So um, I do have, though, these gummy bears because I do have problems sometimes with my sugars. I'm not really sure if I've mentioned that on here or not. Um, but I do. So um, these, I find they taste better than regular gummy bears. They do better with my system. And they're just a lot healthier. So it's definitely a win all the way around. And they do the job of raising my sugars a little bit. Um, they're soy-free, egg-free, dairy-free, fish-free, which I find is a little bit strange to write on the package. But who am I? Um, peanut and nut-free, no artificial dyes, and no... Um, corn syrup or anything like that so they're so much healthier and I like I said I really think they taste a lot better they're small packages so sometimes when my sugars drop I do need to eat like a couple of them I'll show you they're really tiny but they're a really awesome treat to have so next I have some stuff by the brand made good and again these are like free of so much um, they're organic, here's the free. They're peanut free, tree nut free, wheat and gluten free, soy free, dairy free, egg free, sesame free, and fish and shelf fish free. So they're really allergy friendly. And they actually have fruits and veggies in them and I actually do really good with them, which I was super surprised. I'm only bringing like two packages of each of these, but these are the granola bars. They're really small, but they're super good. They're meant for like kids lunches, but my system does great with them and I'm not going to play with it. So they're like my healthier snacks and I'm so excited. It was really exciting for me to finally find like a granola bar and granola bites that like do good with my system. And then I'm probably going to be bringing um, pretzels uh, for the sodium. This way, if I have blood pressure issues in the car, we can fix that. Because um, I'm trying to just, you know, dot all my I's and cross all my T's with everything. And speaking of T's, that leads me into the um, drinks that I'm bringing. Um, obviously, I'm going to be bringing tea. If you know me, you know I absolutely love tea. I'm actually bringing a lot of tea. I'm probably bringing way too much tea, but I was like, you know what? There's nothing wrong with me carrying a bunch of tea around, to be honest. Um, I drink a lot of it, so I don't know how long I will be in the hospital. And if I just want, like, a certain type of tea, at least, like, I can ask somebody to bring it for me. So, I'll show you all what I have. We have some generic Earl Grey. Nothing super fancy, but I like my black tea. And black tea actually um, is good with my body. Like, it helps with different symptoms for me. So, and then we have just decaffeinated Earl Grey. And then something with a little bit less caffeine, English breakfast tea. So I just got some of those in a Ziploc. And then these I really love. So these are tea leaves. And I will show you all. I got these disposable tea bags on Amazon. And I think they are like the best invention in the world. So I just put like my tea leaves in here. And now I can carry them with me. And not only that, but they're disposable. So I don't need to worry about like rinsing it out or washing it. Nothing like that. So I thought these are perfect for after surgery. I love tea leaves. And I don't really want to have to like ask somebody like to fill up the reusable tea bags and, you know, 
it makes a little bit of a mess so I wanted to make this as easy as possible so these last four T's are by the T2 company so it's the letter T the number two and then T so these are the bedtime it's like a sleepy time blend um, which tastes like the Tavana bedtime lavender dreams is what Tavana called it they just call it like sleepy time tea it's really good though it's a decaf um, herbal and I think white tea blend if I'm not mistaken and then the rest of them are just like different black teas that I really love so I wanted to bring it with me more so like for comfort than anything else this is the Madagascan and I think I got like 15 or so bags that I threw in here so the disposable tea bags I ended up getting 200 of them and I do plan on filling them all before I leave um, so that like when I come home I can just you know use them this way as well and I don't need to use like my reusable tea bags or anything I just feel like it's gonna be easier especially when I'm not able to move around as much um, and like I said I don't really want to ask somebody to be doing that so and um, this one is Miller I'm not oh yeah I did say that name Madagascan vanilla is the actual full and then this one I will link below. It's like Melbourne or something. It's not easy to pronounce that one. But it does taste good. And I feel like this is like not a really strong flavor. So I wanted to bring kind of like a lot of these two. Because like the flavoring's not as strong. It's good but not like super strong. The other one I have is called New York Tea. It is like my all time favorite. But it is a really really strong blend. So I'm worried like after surgery that I'm not going to like want something like that tastes that strong um, if that makes sense because you never know if you're going to be nauseous. They do actually want me to be taking pills that morning so I'm not sure like how anesthesia is going to work if I'm going to be like really nauseous. So we'll just see. Alright and then the other thing I am bringing is Gatorade because again you never know what blood pressure, sugars, all that good stuff. And then I'm also bringing a banana bag, which I have over here. Give me one second. I did not think to pull that out, obviously. So this is my banana bag. So, And this is really great. You just add it to water. It's an oral banana bag. So it makes it super easy. And it's going to be good in case like I'm really dehydrated or I feel like I need like vitamins or something that's like safe and okay to use before surgery so we're going up the day before so at least like I don't have to you know do like a super long car trip and then go right into surgery at least like I can take the car trip relax a little bit and then have the surgery all right so Alright, so next we're going to go like over my crafts because I figured it would be good like to keep my mind occupied like while we're traveling um, because it is such, like I said, a long trip. Um, I am going to have my phone to listen to audiobooks and then I have one of these really easy tie blankets. So I already cut it all up and all you do is literally tie the ends. So it's like super easy. It, like doesn't require obviously much thought it is <laughs> kind of huge though um so it takes up a little bit of space but that is okay but i figure that's a nice easy craft i kind of sort of know how to crochet not that well but i figured i have <laughs> stuff i'm thinking of making my cat a blanket uh, the other blanket i don't really know who it's gonna be for i'm thinking of like just donating it we know of uh like it's not like a homeless shelter it's like a warming station I think they call it so I'm just thinking of like donating the blanket because I don't really have anybody to give it to um, but yeah so I'm bringing those crafts to do in the car and listening to audiobooks and of course I'll have headphones so I can potentially put on music if I want to I guess I could try to watch a video I haven't really thought of that until now but all right and then the last category is like health stuff um, I don't have it with me, but y'all know what some of this stuff looks like. I'll have, like, my thermometer, blood pressure cuff, um, and pull socks. So, that type of stuff, like, I've mentioned before on my channel. So, um, and then I have this, which 
to hook up to the bottom of like your seat belt. This way on the way home, it can like rest on my stomach. I don't actually know where they're cutting me open, but I wanted to have stuff just in case, like, cause I don't know, like pain wise, like I know right after surgery, like every bump kind of bothers you. So I don't really want the seat belt to bother me on top of all the bumps. So we're gonna be using that. And it came with a pretty nice pattern. I mean, they're stars. So that's kind of pretty. And then of course I have my port pillow. So that like rests up here on the seat belt and that's like just something I usually use anyways. So it's obviously since I use it all the time, it's coming with me. And then I have my heating pad, which is cordless, which I've showed on here. I don't have it with me right now, but um, it only lasts for like a couple, like an hour or so like at really hot I like the heating pad up like all of the way so once that's like cool I have these little hot packs which like the hospital had ones like similar to these and I would use them so I'm hoping that this will like help a little bit like if the pain gets really bad that this can be you know back up for my heating pad I am going to be bringing my TENS unit I figured in case the dystonia starts bugging me this would be a really nice idea. So yeah, you just kind of put the pads. I usually put them on my uh, upper back slash neck area. That's usually where I get the most relief. And then you just turn it on for like about 20 minutes or so. Um, it times you and there are different settings. So, and then I have these, which are um, dry mouth drops which is for not really for like just the car ride more so after surgery but um i figured you know dry mouth i get it with medications anyways i don't always use stuff for it but i figured you know since it's gonna be a stressful time i might as well have it right and then i have this cream which this one is a prescription but now i believe they have it. it's like voltron they do have it now over the counter so that's an option if you know you're looking for a cream and then I have this cream which is by Jade Bloom and then I have thermal lotion which I love this one this is out Al by Aller Vernerals or something I will put this in the description I think somebody asked me about it one time I feel like um, and then of course because we are traveling with the coronavirus lots of hand sanitizers i really love these these come like in my um accessing kits and they don't always use them so when people don't use them i just i keep them and i collect them these are glasses cleaner <laughs> because i was like hey why not right um i'm trying to think there's something else i'm missing here they are right in front of me you guys ever do that like all the time recently like stuff's right in front of me and i'm looking for it so I got these um, two essential oils to kind of help like with um, the anxiety like right before I figured. So this one is a chill pill blend and I actually really like it. I was a little bit concerned that I wouldn't um, because a lot of them have like the yin yang oil in them and I really hate that smell to be honest with you. I don't know why it like it makes me feel sick. It doesn't actually tell me what's in the blend though. Um, and then this one's called Muscle Ease. I didn't really get it. It's supposed to be like a pain relief thing. I didn't get it for pain relief, guys. I just got it because I was like, oh, those oils, like I like those smells. It's like, I think it's winter something, <laughs> which doesn't help. Um, and like peppermint and like different things like that. So I really, I really like both of those oils to be honest. All right, and last but not least, I have this squishy pillow with beads that I'm bringing because I figured that might help also with the pain for afterwards because I really don't know what to anticipate because it might be like an open surgery at this point. All right, guys, so let me know in the comments below if you do a lot of traveling. Um, and if so, let me know what things are like your must-haves when taking a car trip. So I hope that you found this video somewhat helpful. 
Uh, sorry, it was a little bit all over the place. I didn't do a ton of planning. We just kind of recorded. So I hope this does help a little bit, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. See you soon.